Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the provision of NPA under the chapter Financial Reporting of Banking Companies under the subject Financial Reporting and Analysis. Again, a very simple and a very easy topic for all the for all the TY, BBI, SEMFI students. Now, this is a small sum. Okay, it keeps coming up in the paper at times. Okay, where they ask you to calculate the value of the provision of NPA. Okay, so there are some rules that you have to remember and thereafter you can solve that any kind of sum based on provision of NPA. So let us see how to calculate the provision of NPA. Now, the very first thing that you'll note, need to learn and note down is something called as the provision for NPA that is non-performing assets. So these are the percentage of provision like in this chapter basically what they ask you to find is the provision okay what is the reserve what is the provision that the bank needs to create okay because then the bank lends money and then it has a lot of time at times there are you know some loans up loan become you know they get converted into bad loans okay then there are reserves uh, provision we have to create like you know delay of one year two year three year and above if the loan have not been repaid on time. So the bank has to create uh, provisions, okay, and there are rules for provisions. So number one, for loss making assets which are still yet outstanding, the provision that the bank has to make is hundred percent. For doubtful debts, again it is hundred percent. For doubtful debts, uh, up to one year. Okay, now this is very important. Okay, up to one year, it is twenty five percent. More than one year. But up to three years, it is forty percent, and three years and above, everything is converted to hundred percent. Okay. Next, substandard for secured loan is for fifteen percent provision. Substandard for unsecured exposure is twenty five percent, and for standard assets, okay, zero point four percent. So this is uh, the first uh, rule or the you can say the table that you need to learn. Loss making asset hundred percent, doubtful debts hundred percent, up to one year twenty five, up to one year I mean, above one year but up to three years forty percent and more than three years again hundred percent. For substandard if it is secured fifteen percent, unsecured twenty five percent, and for standard assets those are the normal you know which are in rotation that is zero point four percent or zero point forty percent. Okay. That is one thing what I'll need to note down. Secondly, we'll have to make some a uh, format. Okay, so note down everyone this format. We have particulars amount. Uh, the very first thing will be balance outstanding. The bank needs to know how much balance is yet outstanding. Less realizable value of security. Whatever security have been kept by the bank. Okay, so you need to less the realized value will get you the balance. From that, you need to minus DIGC or ECGC. That's nothing but the insurance cover. That is the percentage on balance. Okay, okay. On this balance, we'll have to remove this percentage. Okay. When you minus again, you will get something called as unsecured portion. So this is less. This is also less. Whatever answer you get is called unsecured portion. On the unsecured portion and the balance that you will have got. Now we'll have to create some provisions. So number one provision will be on unsecured portion. Which will always be 100% of unsecured portion. So whatever is 100 per whatever is this value will get noted on here. And provision for secured portion will be percentage of realized value. Meaning this is the realized value. On this value, we'll have to remove the percentage based on the number of years. Again, if it is one year, okay. See in the previous chart, if it is up to one year, 25%. From one to three years, 40%. And three years and above, 100%. So this particular value can be used in this particular format. Okay. So I want everyone to see that. I'll note down this, uh, you know, the format. So this rule and this once this rule and the format has been thoroughly done, we can start with the very first type of sum that will be based on this particular format. So let us see that. The question is given as Sure Bank had extended the following credit lines to a small scale industry. Which had not paid any interest since first March 2012. Okay, balance outstanding is given uh, as for 2016. So 12 to 16, so like 13, 14, 15, 16. That's more than three years. Okay, they are giving you term loan and export credit. DIGC covers security held, realizable value required. Compute the necessary provision to be made for the year ending 31st March 2016. Okay, so now the format is very sorted. Okay, we have particular term loan and export credit. Okay, so whatever has been given to us, 
we just have to do it after that we have that exact same format noted down so you all can first just read the format once okay so now let us see how we start with the sum okay very first thing the balance outstanding now if you can look here is given a balance outstanding on 31st march 2016 70 lakhs and 60 lakhs so i'm noting down 70 and 60 step number two we need to less the realizable value of security if you can see a realizable value of security is 20 lakh and 15 lakhs so we noted on that 70 minus 20 is 50 60 minus 15 is 45 so we subtract and we get the value of our balance next is G, you know digc or ecgc cover that's an insurance cover so it's given for term loan it is 50 percent and for export credit it is 40 percent remember this percent will always be on the balance that we have got so 50 uh 50 percent will become 25 and 45 ka 40 percent will become 18 so we have noted on that again we less it 50 minus 25 is 25 45 minus 18 is 27 Okay, so we have got that particular provisions, you know, the unsecured portion of our outstanding value. So now we can start with the provision. Provision may number one, we need to first find the provision for unsecured portion. Unsecured, this is my unsecured values, okay, 25 and 27. And as per the rule, 100% of unsecured will be taken. So the full value is taken as 25 and 27. Second, provision for secured portion, that is the percentage of realized value. So realized value was 20 and 15 okay now of this two value it is given percentage is based on the number of years now we look here it was 2012 loan and till 2016 is still not been paid there's more than three years four years is more than three years is still been outstanding so as per the rule if your loan is above three years or you know the doubtful debts are above three years 100 percent of the value will be taken so we'll take the entire 100 percent which is 20 and 15 so the whole amount comes here so finally, we total up 25 plus 20 is 45 and 27 plus 15 is 42. That's our total provision. Okay. So this is the very first type of sum where we have to solve as for the format. We have balance, less realized gives you balance, less DIGC gives you unsecured portion. Unsecured 100% is taken as provision and realized ka we take it according to the per number of years. Okay. This is the very first type of sum. So I hope everyone have understood this okay now we will jump to the second type of sum okay that is again very simple but you need to remember the table for that okay now Chalo. from the following information find out the amount of provision to be shown in pnl account of a commercial bank assets and the amounts have been given so for such kind of sums if you look here carefully they have standard substandard doubtful doubtful loss the rule is first you note on all the assets okay now this is our solution so i have noted on all the assets as it is we have standard substandard Doubtful for one year, doubtful for three years, doubtful for more than three years, loss asset. And we have noted down the amount that is 4,000, 2,900, 400, 300 and 500. Okay. Now, in order to get the, uh, you know, solve ahead. Okay. First thing I would like is everyone should read this table. Okay. Just read this table once and then we'll see how to solve it further. Okay, Chalo. now let us see how we solve this part. Okay, this sum. First is standard. Standard ke liye the rule is if there is standard asset, the provision percentage will be 0.4 or 0.40 percent. So we'll note it down as 0.40. Okay, so 4000. Now very simple. 4000, you just have to multiply. You have to multiply the amount into the percentage. So 4000 into 0.40 percent gives you the value of 16. These are all in lakhs, so it's 16 lakhs. For substandard, okay, now they haven't mentioned whether it is secured or unsecured. We have to assume it, it will always be secured, okay, if not given. So again, 2000 into 15 percent gives you 300. For doubtful up to one year, one year up to one year, it was 25 percent. So we have noted down 25. 900 into 25 percent is 225. Up to three years, it is up to three years. It is 40 percent. So we noted on at 40. So 400 into 40 percent is 160. Doubtful for more than three years, it is 100 percent. So 300 into 100 percent is 300. And loss making is again 100 percent. 500 into 100 is 500. 
so it is as simple you just have to remember the table okay based on whatever they have given you you have to just take those provision multiply with the amount and we get the total provision we add up the total uh, values of all the provision that we have got and that was nothing but our total provision required the total comes to 1501 in lakhs okay so this is how you all have to solve the sum when they are given you all the values of assets the previous one was based on okay digc and based so that was the format based and this is based on your table so this entire topic consists of these two types of sum which are very exam oriented so i hope everyone have understood that okay now question number 3b from the following information compute the amount of provision to be made in pnl account of er bank okay they have given you standard assets substandard doubtful under doubtful they have given you some realizable value also okay so now let us see how to solve such sum okay i'll give the heading as computation of provision number 1 the very first thing is standard asset the amount is 60000 in crores so i'm writing it in crores value 60000 Now standard asset का provision percent is always zero point four zero percent. तो sixty thousand into point four zero percent, the provision comes to two hundred and forty. Okay, second substandard and substandard asset which is fully secured, so it will be fifteen percent. Value is Twenty-two thousand five hundred. The rate is fifteen percent. So twenty-two thousand five hundred into fifteen percent, three three seven five. Now from here you have to be careful now. Th now it's giving you doubtful. Under doubtful asset, number one, doubtful for less than one year, fifteen thousand. Out of which realizable value of security is three seven five zero. So now this is for less than one year. For less than one year, me you have two parts. One is secured and one is unsecured. The realized value is secured. The amount is three seven five zero. Okay, and total amount of fifteen from that three seven five zero is secured. So unsecured will become one one two five zero. If it is less than one year for secured, the rate is supposed to be twenty five percent, and unsecured it is completely hundred percent. So three seven five zero into twenty five percent is nine three seven point five. In year it will be complete one one two five zero. Second, for more than one year but less than three years. So for more than one, but Less than three years. Again, A and B because we have realized there also value. So we have secured and unsecured. Uh, the secured value, realized value is fifteen hundred. So that is secured. So the unsecured part will become three seven five zero minus fifteen hundred. So I will get. Two two five zero. Um, this comes to forty percent, and this is hundred percent. So two two five zero is hundred percent, and fifteen hundred into forty percent is six hundred. Okay, and doubtful for more plus art. Other than that, now normal more than three years. Two two five zero. And it will always be hundred percent. So again, I like to do five zero here. And last is loss making assets. So loss assets, which is one two five zero. All the loss making assets are hundred percent provision. You'll have to make for that. That's it. We add up. We'll get our total provision. So that will be two forty plus. Three three seven five plus nine thirty seven point five plus one one two five zero, 
प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस टू टू फाइव जीरो प्लस टू टू फाइव जीरो प्लस वन टू फाइव जीरो ओके मैं ओके सो विच कम्स टू 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 वन फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव ओके नॉ दीज आर ऑल इन क्रोड ओके द ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव क्रोज इज द प्रोविजन दैट हैज टू बी मेड ठीक है सो दिस इज आर यू हैव टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बी